know, little kitty. Don't panic. Shucks, it's scary. Well, not if we know how to keep them away. Well, so in today's episode, let's learn surviving tactics by answering a life-saving question. How to survive a shark attack? Zoom in. Sharks, as we learned in our previous videos, all kinds of sharks are predators, meaning those who hunt for food. This hunting characteristic is vital for their survival, just like for any other carnivorous species on our planet. But movies like Jaws and The Meg manage to amplify these wild traits, creating a monstrous aura of them causing a sense of fear amongst us. Because of this, every time we are on the beach or swimming in the sea, we are always on our toes, hoping not to cross the path with a hungry shark. But you'll be glad to know that the chances of you coming across a shark on the shore is pretty less because these giant fish prefer to live deep underwater, and they rarely attack humans. But it does not guarantee total safety as people going surfing or scuba diving are always at risk of encountering sharks. And that's why it is vital to be aware of steps one must take in case of such an unwanted event. So. What should you do if you come face to face with these sea hunters? Well, your basic instinct will tell you to swim for your life. But unless you are very close to the shore and can reach the surface, swimming is not the best option. Yes, that's because you can't outswim a shark and your rapid body movement will trigger the shark to act on its basic instinct, which is to catch its prey that generally works the same way or protect itself from a potential threat. So, to avoid getting misjudged by the sharks, it is advised to remain calm and make minimum body movement this way, it is very much possible that the shark wouldn't feel threatened or the need to attack you and swim away. However, avoid acting dead too, because that gives the shark a sense that it has won and it might take a bite out of your flesh, which might be very painful. And if it happens to take a bite, Seeing no movement in you, do not look at the bitten area as watching yourself bleeding can be nauseating. Then, what must you do? Well, now when you are utterly calm without sending threat signals to it, try and maintain eye contact with it. Yes, just like we pet our dogs, Sharks can also become our friends if we show them how assertive and friendly we can be with them. Maintaining eye contact with them will not only help you keep an eye on its movement, but the shark will also think of you as another predator it doesn't want to mess with, giving you an upper hand. But if you see a shark, in an attacking position, it's better to find a solid surface like a rock or coral reef and hide behind it. Or in open water, get back to back with another swimmer so that you can see and defend against an attack from any direction. And in the worst case scenario, if the shark attacks you, then you have no choice but to fight back and hit the fish with repeated hard blows on its weak areas like gills, eyes or snout until the shark 
lets you go and swims away. But even if the shark swims away, you are not truly safe until you are out of the water. Yes, sharks may leave temporarily and then return to continue the attack. So, when given a chance, get back to the shore or back on the boat as quickly and smoothly as possible. Trivia time! Did you know the largest shark in the ocean is a whale shark? Yes, and the dwarf lantern shark is the smallest species of shark. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Wow, tuna! Hmm, never mind. <laughs>